What I'm gonna do first is just make the same mistake a lot of people make, and that's to try to just get up and gate right away, and we're talking about the pacey horse. So if I just take Sunny, and I got a light hold on a rein, I'm going to do a dog walk and that is just walking with a little hold on the reins and if they speed up out of it you can do circles or a one ring stop whoa and then take off again but um, I like what Tommy Curran said about just keep them walking and keep their head nodding so let's just walk walk She's very excited. She's usually not this excited, but now I'm going to try to add a little speed. I'll be dog walking and I'll just squeeze her. Dog walk. she tries to pace so I just check her down and get her back into that head shaking walk and turn around and try to stay in a head shaking walk Just checking her every time she starts to pace. I'm checking her, returning to the slower gait. it takes a while just to get a horse calmed down but releasing in the gate is really important when we say hold back we're not talking about holding back and then just staying all over that horse's mouth the whole time we're talking about taking a little taking up on the reins and you've got to have this pole flexion first and then driving driving them from behind so you'll see that Sunny her stride is shortened because she's older and doesn't get ridden as much. But when I drive her from behind, it'll lengthen. And so I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to try to just get a really slow flat foot walk going, flat walk. And I'm going to take up on her head. I'm going to drive her. Really get after her. And then release.
Okay, so that was a little bit quicker. But she wasn't nodding as much, so I go back to the tube where she really nods. Once she gets nodding good at one speed, I can increase the speed. 